race car, no matter how rare, how valuable, how sought after, needs but one thing, a racetrack. Without one, it's a sculpture in a museum. With one, it's alive. And in August of 1974, Lavinia Seca gave these race cars a chance to be reborn. Here we are on a fairly typical race morning on the Monterey Peninsula with the fog rolling in off the bay over the beautiful Laguna Seca racetrack. And what we're going to see here is something very special. Decades of motor racing history actually out there on the track in the loving hands of the owners of these cars. It's a great spectacle. About 35 years ago, a group of enthusiasts with old race cars that they still wanted to run created the Monterey Historics. And it has grown to be the single biggest vintage racing weekend in all of North America. As vintage racing was growing in popularity, so too was the sport of car restorations and car collecting. And there was a divergence. Over at Pebble Beach, they started the Concord Delegons. For enthusiasts who wished to restore and preserve their cars in their original state as pristine as possible. Over here, atop what used to be Fort Ord, the Laguna Seca Raceway, took cars that used to be fiercely run in competition, but were no longer competitive, and turned them into the new sport of vintage sports car racing, where these cars could be enjoyed not in a museum setting, and not in their pristine shininess, but as they were raced in anger. There won't be much bumping or reckless passing out on the track, but other than that, it's racing, and there's a winner and a loser. And uh, these guys still race to win. A day at the Monterey Historic is a car lover's dream. It's a place where you can not only get to see history in motion, you can walk around and literally touch it. Gran Turismo creator Kazunori Yamauchi takes a stroll back in time. <laughs> で、僕が、え、今回見られた F1の中で一番嬉しかったのがこのマシンですね。え、ティレルの6人車です。すごく懐かしいですね。ちょうどこの頃に、え、僕は the Tyrell. Six more reasons why this event is one of a kind. There are other events like it around the country, but the combination of factors, including the history of road racing on the actual streets of Monterey here on the peninsula, plus this great racetrack and all the other events of Car Week here on the peninsula, including the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance, makes this a very, very special event. Here in America, there are vintage events in Road America in Elk Lake, Wisconsin, Lime Rock, Connecticut, Watkins Glen, New York, and other circuits around the country. But combine those events just begin to equal what happens here at the Monterey Historics. When you combine world-class drivers, amateur racers, and such a breadth of cars ranging from about 1912 right up into the late 1980s, you have an event here, a moving museum of automotive racing with history and excitement that's just unmatched in anywhere. So what makes a race car eligible for the Monterey Historics? Well, I suppose that's one of the great mysteries, is how you get invited. The idea is to create a catalog of cars, if you will. You want the paddock to be as entertaining and as diverse as you can possibly make it. So I'm sure the organizers are looking for cars that you just won't see anywhere else. Something that will give them that extra touch of historical relevance, as well as entertainment value for the folks on the track. Cars are invited to participate in the Monterey Historics based on several criteria. First of all, was it a significant race car during the day? Did 
didn't have a successful competition history. この車でおそらくベロフは、えー、ジルグプリンクの、えー、北コースオールドコースのコースレコードをマークしているはずです。Was it driven by a famous driver whose name fans would recognize? ベロフはここで、えー、ジルグプリンクで、えー、コースレコードを出して、えー、まあその後にまあ不幸にも、えー、事故で亡くなってしまうんですよね。まだすごく若いドライバーだったんですけど、あの天才ドライバーだったと思います。And finally, and most importantly. Is the car restored to the original specification when it raced as new? That's very important, and it's policed by Steve Earle's organization, but also it's policed by the drivers and racers themselves. In other words, there are no losers out here. Each and every race car on the track today has a pedigree as long as the front straight. However, not all cars this weekend are to be handled with care. Case in point, the Race of Legends charity run, where some of the best drivers in the world, both past and present, prove that even a couple scions can deliver racing worthy of the day. Starting from the back of the field, current F1 driver Timo Glock is victorious, even over defending champion Derek Bell. But as we have learned, we had a little help. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I played. Uh, I don't know how many hours uh, to learn tracks like Le Puto Seca, like uh, Le Puto Notch, like. And you have so many different cars, uh, and they all behave like real on the track, and uh, that's quite impressive. And it's just a good, good game, and I enjoyed it uh, every time playing it, and I'm still playing it. あのさっき、えー、F1 ドライバー元 F1 ドライバー、えー、だけで、えー、レースをして見事、チームかなり後ろのグリッドからスタートしましたけど最後は優勝しましたよねあれはやっぱり GT4 でラグラセカを練習したセカなんでしょうか Hey, it's, it's a big help because I never, never drove here in a good seat on the track and yesterday we had just five, six laps to, to practice and uh, when I came here I knew exactly where, where I have to go and what, what speed you have to go through the corners because you can just simulate it really well uh, with respect to it before. That was uh, the main, the main uh, reason why I won it. Today's technology has reached unheard of levels, whether it's on the track or it's on the virtual tracks of Gran Turismo. But to truly grasp where automobile racing is gone, we must hold on tightly to where it has been. The Monterey Historic Races, Laguna Seca, California.